Hello friends. Today we are going to see how we can configure BSNL Wi-Fi modem. This is BSNL wireless modem with four electrical ports and one wireless. Okay, you can see the front side of the modem. First is power light. Second is DSL. It should be stable, constant. Third is internet. If everything is fine, it will be green and will be blinking. Fourth will show the LAN port 1, 5th, 6th, 7th respectively. LAN port 2, 3, 4 and the last LED will show wireless connectivity. From the back side, charging point, reset pin, ethernet ports and one is DSL. Line. DSL line is coming from a splitter. Uh, from a splitter, uh, we use one for uh, telephone and one for modem. Okay, so presently it is configured and uh, NAT is working on this modem. But suppose we want to uh, change the Wi Fi password, uh, we will not be able to change without formatting or resetting it to factory default. So, first of all, we will connect a LAN cable to the PC, a DSL cable in the correct RJ11 jack, power is on, and let's go to the system. These modems vendors are MS Supernet. Okay, coming to the system and checking LAN connectivity is okay or not. So open your network and sharing center. Go to change adapter setting. There you will find local area network connection 2 unidentified. So let's go to properties then internet protocol version 4 tcp oblique ip v4 the option you will see there obtain an ip automatically so <coughs> first of all set these ip these are default ip like 192.168.1. anything except 1 and 255 so at the place of 8 you can use 2, 3, 4, 5 and up to 254 subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0 since it is a class C IP address gateway is 192.168.1.1 similarly preferred DNS same and alternate DNS global DNS of Google 8888 Set OK and see the unidentified network is now identified and network 23 open any browser now we will be able to open the modem by the IP address 192.168.1.1 not opening because this modem has a very high level security and once it is configured it gets logged automatically so it will not open until we mark it a factory default settings so here we see we are not getting access to the modem so let's go to the modem Here is the reset pinhole. We will do hard reset from a pin. And how we will see that either it is reset is completed or not. So see the green LEDs blinking in the front side. 
and from the back side we are pushing it up in in power on condition you can see the LED which is green power LED is green when it will turn red it means process is executed wait till the LED turns green it takes hardly 10 seconds okay it's now red so we will take out this charging pin and will reinsert because it do not have on off switch at uh, modem so just take out the pin or either use the switchboard uh, for turning it on and off okay now we have turned it on and uh, power is on DSL is blinking it should be stable then only net connectivity can appear okay third internet lamp is red and the computer screen automatically is showing now username and password by default it is admin admin mm, small letter going to interface setting internet pvc 0 vpi and vci is 0 and 35 and here we will put username and password so see the settings of internet it is ipv4 oblique ipv6 pppoa oblique pppoe service name anything you can set it like vsnl or your own name username username is provided by your isp it is in the format of two initial letters of your name then your std code and then telephone number underscore ncdr if you are from north zone wcdr if you are from west zone south zone will have sdr scdr and each zone will have ecdr so here it is an example of a b one two three four five six eight like this and underscore ncdr means north data center all are in a small letter password is simply password means the spelling of the password in a small letter come down and save it going to wireless settings here it is deactivated so it will not show your SSID so just click on activated activated okay so it is now activated and here is the password you can change it as per your desire as hard as you can so that no one can get access to your Wi-Fi modem you can also change the SSID which is broadcasted for connecting the Wi-Fi wi connection by default it is BSNL access point you can change it with anything any name like your name your home name or anything you like set the password below is wireless MAC address filter also if you are well known well aware about the MAC filters then you can use it otherwise use just password protected wireless access we have saved it now the system let's see the status status is connected PPPoE you have got the dynamic IP addresses means net is working now see below SNR margin and attenuation data rate it is very good line condition very low SNR attenuations and good data rates so let's see net is working
now come to the modem and see the status the red lamp has gone and it's appearing green and blinking means net is working and the last LED which is WLAN is also green now so wireless is activated and we are using LAN 2 port for computer for using internet and Wi-Fi for mobile and other wireless devices so thank you guys if net is working and you want to change wireless password you have to follow the whole process because it is logged automatically and it will be only unlocked by hard reset from backside pinhole so the whole setting is required to be done again